it me, it Rebecca. I read some books and I'm gonna talk about them. Um, I read some books about the internet and I'm gonna talk about the internet today. Um, okay, so the first book is Lauren Euler's Fake Accounts, which I talked about in my most recent vlog. Um, this book tells the story of a very online woman who discovers that her boyfriend, who purports to be not at all online, actually has a conspiracy, a very popular conspiracy theory Instagram. Uh, then this narrator moves to Berlin and proceeds to go on a series of um, online dates in which she picks a unique fake persona to portray each time. The second book is Patricia Lockwood's No One Is Talking About This. I just finished this this morning. Um, this book is also written from the first person perspective of a very online woman. This book is actually written in the fragmented style that I think Lauren Euler successfully satires in a portion of this book. Um, and this book read to me really as two distinct novels. The first half is essentially a collection of tweets. Um, they're very funny. Patricia Lockwood has a sense of humor that I really appreciate. Um, and I would say that this first section is a little jarring in its, in its randomness. It's like scrolling your explore feed on Instagram and just seeing everyone is putting stuff out there but nothing's actually in conversation with each other and I found this as a reader difficult to know how to direct my attention know what of these fragments is important um and then occasionally you're reading this and it's in between all of these funny one-liners is a piece that feels really meaningful and deep and beautiful and poetic um, and, and it forces you to think like, oh, I'm, I'm so glad I caught that. I'm glad I didn't scroll right past that. Um, so then the second half is it wrenches you out of this world of the internet into a traumatic family event. Um, and I, I was blown away by the speed at which Patricia Lockwood took me from laughing at taint jokes to just like ripping my heart into a destroyed million pieces. Um, beautiful, beautiful second half. Um, I think that both books are ultimately successful in their critique of the internet um, because they're not doing it from this like idyllic mountaintop monastery of anti-internet abstinence, right? They, they are both flawed, flawed narrators. And um, I think that is in some way a commentary on how everything that we do online is about getting likes and therefore being liked. Um, and these sort of unlikable narrators are resisting that. Um, in addition to their commentary about authenticity online, I think that they have a lot to say about time and place and how the internet differs from reality and that it's not constrained by those two dimensions. Um, I think that's why both books involve travel across country and continent lines and also deal with mortality and impermanence. Um, and, and I think it's worth noting that in both books, the narrators use the internet to, for, for personal and social reasons, but they also both make their living, do their jobs online and uh, to me, I think this is this is about how the internet is the latest tool of capitalism to remove 
our humanity from our non-working selves um, in the way that the internet is inescapable in these books, so is the means by which we labor. Um, there's something there, right? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so a um, non-fiction companion piece to these that I recommend is How to Do Nothing by Jenny O'Dell. Um, I read this a while ago and I, I resisted this for a while. Let's see what year this came out. Um, I have my book jacket on upside down. Um, I resisted this for a while because 2019. So this came out in 2019. I resisted it because I thought that it too, I had this fear that it would be lecturing me about my scrolling from some sort of place of monastic abstinence. Um, and it, it is not arguing for opting out. I think that the argument that this book makes is not perfect. It has some really strong points and some flaws. Namely, I would say that its flaws come in uh, a lack of recognition of the privilege that it is to be able to disengage in the way that she prescribes. Um, I think there is something, I think there's something inherently conservative in the nature of her argument. It suggests that moving forward and technological advancement has gotten us into this internet mess and that moving backwards is somehow uh, the answer. And um, I resist this fetishization of the past um, because I think this is an easy argument for an upper class white person to make and um, a deeply disappointing one for those who believed that as we were sort of promised, the internet would be this great democratizing force. Um, but I do, but this book is something that has stuck with me for a while. And um, I, I think that it is in conversation with these two. Also, this book, uh, Jenny O'Dell, is based in Oakland, California, where I used to live and holds a fondness in my heart. Um, all right. I, I do think that, lastly, I should acknowledge the irony um, of the fact that I'm having this conversation about critiques of the internet into a screen that I will then put on the internet. Um, and I will say that my experience of the internet is that it is a place where you go to have strongly held opinions and etch them in stone and put them in the permanent record forever. Um, and that's sort of the opposite of how I feel about books. Um, Obviously, I think that there's no such thing as a good or bad book. And obviously that's in part because of the subjectivity and personal taste. But also I think that my feelings about books are constantly evolving. I know which ones matter to me because they stick with me over time. And, um, and this seems sort of diametrically opposed to the pace at which booktube and, and specifically bookstagram move right where you're like constantly posting and giving the freshest take um and i don't really and i i believe in like the slow metabolization and digestion of books um so so that's the the great experiment that we are on here together friends um okay I think that's everything that I wanted to say about the webs. Um, if you made it this far, God bless you. Um, thanks for watching.